hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing because i'm doing all right i'm doing all right i'm doing all right welcome back yet again to my channel my name is blessing if this is your first time seeing my face please kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe and also turn on your post notification bell so you're notified each time i post a new video and to my returning subscribers i love you guys so much you already know please guys ignore whatever you are seeing at the back and we go somewhere do you get me <laughs> I also apologize in advance if you hear any vo any noise. Any boss gen is on, and I've tried. I even closed the whole windows and doors in, in a bit to curtail curtail the noise, and um, I don't know. I don't think it's working. But anyways, let's dive right into the video. So today, guys, I'm going to be talking about crazy things introverts do. For me, I think I'm an introvert, it's a little bit of an extrovert. I can be wild. I can be calm. I can be all over the place, I can be just, you know, not there, not visible. And it all depends on the vibe, it all depends on the environment. But me, personally, I know I am 100%, 100% introvert, and then maybe 1.9, 0.9 extrovert added to it. So today, I feel like I want to talk about the things introverts do, the crazy things introverts do. So if you're interested, let's get right into the video. So the number one thing on my list is talking to myself you guys i don't know if every other person does this but i literally talk to myself like i'm speaking with someone else i talk to myself even i even laugh in the conversation i talk to myself i ask myself questions i answer myself it is crazy it is crazy how i sometimes i talk to myself and when i realize what i'm doing i'm like okay is there anybody around i speak to myself when i'm alone i talk to myself a whole lot a lot of the time and another thing is that's the number two thing is eye contact i find it hard to keep an eye contact with somebody i'm not comfortable with or with somebody that i'm not used to seeing when i see for the first time i feel very shy i feel very uncomfortable i cannot look you in the face i cannot look you in the eye when i'm talking to you i'm looking elsewhere but i'm making my point but i'm looking elsewhere so that's like something that i feel like introverts do if you're an introvert in the house please let me know if you can relate to all of these things then number three thing is i'm always 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 afraid to start a conversation i barely start conversations especially especially in public because i don't know i find it very difficult to start conversation or start talking first or even try to chip in you know i just i'm just the type of person that i like to sit back and then listen to other people and then take things down i find it really hard to speak up and to start up a conversation even when i start up a conversation i cannot even hold the conversation i don't know how to hold a conversation so it's very difficult for me to start up a conversation and then um I don't say anything like i don't you know it's kind of weird the fourth thing is i am very 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 sensitive i'm very sensitive emotional and i i'm more like i feel like i'm a people pleaser although that's something i'm trying to stop because people be getting on my nerves but i feel like i'm a very sensitive person by nature or maybe because of my introversy and i'm very 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 emotional and let me know if you guys know anything about astrology because i feel like it has a lot to do with my astrology i am cancer by astrology so my zodiac sign is cancer and you know when you check it out cancers are very sensitive they're very emotional they're this and that and that they cry a lot they expect they feel sad easily they sense everything but me i know for myself that i can literally come into a room and i can read the energies in the room but i am the introvert there i can literally read the energy in the room trust me there are some cancers that you know all over the place you know they're having their phone doing that so much of an extrovert not all cancers are introvert but i'm telling you you can be an extrovert and still be sensitive you can be an extrovert and still be emotional i am so so emotional and i'm trying to work on it but you know it's really hard for you to work on something that is inbuilt you know it's really hard to change to navigate from something that you are born with something that you are used to i am trying i'm trying to be more reasonable and all of that but that is what that's what is in me like there's nothing i can do about it the fifth one is i am not so confident i am not so so confident even when i pick up my camera to make a video i see myself feeling shy because i feel like i see people watching me from the other end and i feel like they're looking me in the face and i feel so shy so it makes me sometimes you know make a particular video like multiple times because i feel like i am not in the bold enough i am not confident enough that's the introvert in me working <laughs> i am i am so shy whenever i talk to people whenever i'm outside whenever i feel like okay 
people are staring at me something like that i feel so shy and i want to just you know quickly hide the way i don't want to be in the spotlight i don't want to be seen i don't want all eyes to be on me i don't know that's an introvert thing you can't tell me nothing then the sixth that. thing is i am always alone i am always alone you guys actually i prefer to be alone it's also something that introverts do i prefer to be alone even when other people are around me i still feel like i am so alone let me I enjoy my own company. I enjoy, you know, just being by myself, flexing my thing, doing my thing, talking to myself, pressing my phone, dancing to myself, just, you know, having my own party. I enjoy my privacy. I enjoy me. You know, I enjoy my presence. That's crazy, you guys. The seventh thing is friends. You guys, friends. I literally have no friend. I don't speak friend. I can only count one friend that I have that I made that Oko gave to me when I was a student. And we are not even living close, so we barely see each other. I don't know how to make friends. Even though when someone approaches me, someone likes me, you know, we exchange numbers and all of that. Oh my god, I, I will not call you on phone. I will never call you on phone. I don't know why. I find it really difficult. Even to call my own mom is really hard. It has to be maybe like weeks or two weeks or when I feel like okay enough is enough then i'll have to call her i find it really difficult to you know be in a friendship group I, like i want to be the one that you know you are dragging you know drag along i enjoy friendships i want to have friends and all of that but i don't know how to make friends and i don't have to, i don't know how to you know do what friends do do you know call on each other gist what are we even talking what are we going to be talking about like that's it just overwhelms me you guys oh my god the ninth thing here i want to say is i believe everyone so easily even when you are telling a very white lie a very pure white lie you see me nodding like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what i'm what i'm doing is just please get done and please leave that's what i'm doing although i know that it's a white lie i do believe you i trust you you know something like that and i find it crazy like did i actually believe this person over this maybe when someone tells me something i got back i get back home i tell my husband my husband is like and you think it's the truth i'll be like oh maybe it's not the truth though so i believe people so easily when you tell me you have ten thousand dollars i'm going to believe you am i in your bank account when you say you have five cars mm -hmm, that's what you said that's your own problem not mine so whatever you say to me is what i believe and that's just how it has been and the last but not the least is myself i love myself so much i i don't know how to feel i don't know how to express it but i have like this special love for myself you know whenever i'm stressed i'm taking a break whenever i i, I have headache i'm do, like i just take i feel like oh my god i don't know how to express myself but at the end of the day i'm trying to say that i love myself a lot and even though i don't get any friends or any of that even though any other person likes me i still like myself and that has kept me going so let me know if you're an introvert or even though you're an extrovert if you have an introvert friend let me know in the comment section let me know if you relate to any of this and i find it really crazy all of these things i mentioned but let me know if you can relate to any of them thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in my next video bye from your introverts youtuber <laughs>